Many of software testers these days are stuck because either they are fearful of learning AI or they don't have any idea where and how they can start learning AI. And straightforward jumping to the AI may not be helpful as you think. And believe me, I was also like you few months before where I had no idea where to start with. And after doing lots and lots of research, I found three secret stages which will give you a clarity where and how to proceed with AI and how you can start learning AI in software testing. As I also have applied these learnings in my career and because of which I am now able to do lots and lots of things with the help of AI. And at last I am also going to tell you what stage I am in and how I am learning and implementing AI in my current company or in day to day life. Now we're starting with the first stage. So this stage is all about exploring AI in software testing. This is where research and development related to different AI models, different AI algorithms and AI prototypes goes on. So in this stage, basically testers or developers work on creating and developing AI prototypes and the algorithms part of it. So now if you are a tester or developer with a strong coding background and you can really push your limits to learn new technology and you have background of data science in AI, then this stage can be helpful where you are going to develop AI from scratch. So now if you have the feeling of discouragement where okay, I don't have a strong background or I don't have data science background, then how I can learn AI, then stage two is for you. So second stage of AI is AI integration. Here basically you search all the AI tools which are already existing in the market and you can search all the AI tools which are going to be helpful in your testing activities. So basically in this stage, we try to find out the AI tools which can help to increase the productivity in testing processes. So basically this stage is to understand how to configure AI tools, how to set right data for those AI tools and how to use those AI tools effectively in your current systems so that it can integrate with your testing pipelines and also AI can help you set up test data management with the power of AI. Also adopting AI driven analytics in testing can help you in test coverage and test execution also. So I have already done lots and lots of research on AI tools related to software testing and had created a video. So if you want to really see what all are the different useful and popular AI tools in software testing industry, then you can check out my video in the description. Okay, so now if you think AI tools can be costly and it has only trial period of 14 days after which we won't be able to use AI tools, then the third stage is definitely for you. Now the stage three is related to daily usage of AI for productivity. This stage involves leveraging powerful AI tools like ChatGPT, Gemini and BART and we can use these AI tools in our day to day productivity so that we can focus on more creative and strategic part of our work. And since these tools are very easy to use, it is also going to be very, very helpful in day to day life and definitely it is going to increase our productivity. So now coming to the my personal favorite part. So Currently, I am also in the stage two and stage three, and you can also comment out in the comment box what stage you are in. And I have already worked on chat GPT and definitely you also must be using, but there are other aspects also, other ways also using which AI can be helpful or chat GPT kind of tools can be helpful. Generally, right now people are only using it using UI, but there are other ways also. So if you want me to create the video of chat GPT, how you can efficiently use chat GPT in your code. Right now, people only use using AI. So comment in the comment box and I am going to make video on chat GPT and Gemini like tools also. What are their features and how you can leverage those tools in your day to day productivity as well as how you can integrate them in your code. At last, don't forget to like the video and subscribe the channel if you are new here. See you in the next one.